I wonder if Titania be awaked. Then what it was that next came in her eye, which she must dote on in an extremity. Here comes my messenger. Seva, I'm on a spree through. What night roll now about this haunted grove? My mistress with a monster is in love. Near to her close and constricted bower, while she was in her dull and sleeping hour, a crew of patches, rude mechanicals, were met together to rehearse a play. Intended for great Theseus' nuptial day, when I had him at this advantage take, an ass's knoll I fixed upon his head. <laughs> when in that moment, so it came to pass, Titania waked and straight away loved the nun. An ass, this falls out better than I could devise. But hast thou yet latched the Athenian's eyes with the love juice as I did bid thee do? I took him sleeping. That is finished too, with the Athenian woman by his side. For when he wakes a force, she must be eyed. This is the same Athenian. This be the woman, but not this the man. Oh, why rebuke you him that loves you so? Like breast so bitter on your bitter foe. Now I would chide what I should use thee worse, for thou I fear hast given me cause to curse. But thou hast slain Lysander in his sleep, being o'er shoes and blood, plunged in deep, for it cannot be but thou hast murdered him. So should a murderer look, so dead, so grim. So should the murderer look, and so should I, pierced to the heart of this stern cruelty. This is to my Lysander, where is he? Ah, good Demetrius, will thou give him to me? I'd rather give his carcass to my hounds. Out, dog, out, cur, thou drivest me past the bounds of maiden's patience. Hast thou slain him then? Henceforth be never numbered among men. You spend your passion on a misprized mood. I am not guilty of Lysander's blood. Nor is he dead? Aught that I can tell. I pray thee, tell me then that he is well. And? If I could, what would I get there for? The privilege to never see me more. And from thy hated presence part I so. See me no more whether he be dead or no. There is no following her in this fierce vein. So here, therefore, for a while I shall remain. So sorrow's heaviness doth heavier grow, for debt that bankrupt sleep doth sorrow owe. And now, in some slight measure, it will pay. As tender here, I will make some stay. Cotifé! Thou hast mistaken point and laid the love juice on some true love's sight. Without the wood go swifter than the wind, and the Helena of Athens look thou find. By some illusion see thou bring her here. I'll charm his eyes again she do appear. Jive, jive, simwaki par. I go, I go, look how I go, swifter than an arrow from the Tartar's bow. Flower of this purple dye, hit with Cupid's archery, sink an apple of his eye. When thou wakest, if she be by, beg of her for remedy. Captain of our fairy band, Helena is here at hand, and the youth, mistook by me, pleading for a lover's fee. Shall we there find pageancy? Lord, what fools these mortals be. The noise they make will cause Demetrius to wake. Then we'll two at once we'll one. That must be me sport alone. Says I must keep thy bien. That be fall perpetuously. Why should you think that I should ruin scorn? You do advance your coming more and more. When truth kills truth, oh devilish holy fray. These vows are Hermia's. Do you give her o'er? Weigh oath with oath, and you will nothing weigh. I had no judgment when to her I swore. No, not in my mind now you give her o'er. Demetrius loves her. That's not you. Uh, to, uh. <clears throat> oh, Helena! Goddess, nymph, perfect divine, to what, my love, shall I compare thine eye? Crystal is muddy, oh, how ripe and show. Thy wits, those kissing cherries, tempting grow, when thou holdest up thy hand. Oh, let me kiss this princess of pure white, this seal of bliss. Oh, spite! Oh, hell! Now I see you all are bent, sit against me for your merriment. You were simple in new courtesy. You would not do me thus much injury. Can you not hate me as I know you do? But you must join in souls to mock me too. You both are rivals and love Hermia. And now both rivals to mock Helena? You are unkind, Demetrius. Be not so. For you love Hermia as you know I know. And 
here with all goodwill, with all my heart, in Hermia's love I yield you up my part. And yours of Helen to me bequeath, whom I do love and will do till my death. Never did mockers waste more idle breath. Lysander, keep thy Hermia, I will not. If our loved her, all oh, that love is gone. My heart to her, but his guest flies to turn. And to Helen, it is overturned. Lysander, oh, Helen, it is not so. Oh. Look, where thy love comes, yonder is thy gift. But find mine eye, Lysander found. Mine ear, I think, it brought me to thy sound. But why in Hermia fell asleep himself? Why should he stay, whom love doth press to go? But love could press Lysander from my side. Why, Sandra's love, but who would not let him bide? Most fair Helen, who more engills the night than all you fiery o's and eyes of light. Why seekest thou me? Could not this make thee know the hate I bear thee made me leave thee so? You speak not as you think, it cannot be. Lo, oh, she's one of this confederacy. Now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. Injurious Hermia, most ungrateful babe. Have you conspired? Have you with these contrived to bait me with this foul derision? Is all the counsel we two have shared, the sisters' vows, the hours we have spent, when we have tried the easy footed time for permanence? Was all forgot? The school days, friendship, the childhood innocence. And will you rent our ancient love asunder to join with these men in scorning your poor friend? Tis not friendly, tis not maidenly. Our sex as well as I may chide you for it. But I alone do feel the injury. I am amazed by your passionate words. I scorn you not, it seems that like you scorn me. Have you, set, have you not set Lysander as in scorn to praise my eyes and face? <laughs> and made your other love, Demetrius, to call me goddess. Goddess! Nymph! Nymph! Divine and rare! Divine and rare! Fresh and celestial! <laughs> wherefore speaks you this to her hates? And wherefore doth Lysander deny your love, so rich within his soul? But by your setting on, by your consent, I understand not what you mean by this. Ah, dear preserver, counterfeit sad looks. Make bows upon me when I turn my back. Oh, and get each other, hold the sweet jest up. But fare you well, tis partly my own fault, which death or absence soon oh, shall render me. Stay, gentle Helen, hear my excuse. Oh, my love, my life, my soul, fair Helena. Oh, excellent. Sweet, not scorn her so. You see, can I treat? I can compel. Thou canst compel no more than she entreat. Helen, I love thee by my life, I do. I swear by that which I will lose for thee to prove him false that says I love thee not. You say you love thee more than he can do. If thou say so, withdraw and prove it too. Quick, come. My sinner, would you tell all this? Away, you Ethiop. No, no, sir. Seem to break loose, but take on to what follow. But yet come not. You are a tame man. Go. Oh, head off, thou cat. Thou bird, vile thing. Let loose, or I will shake thee from me like a serpent. Why have you grown so rude? What changes this sweet love? How loathe it, medicine. Hated potion, and hate me? Wherefore? What news, my love? Am not I Hermia? Or not you, Lysander? Why then you lust me, of the gods rid in earnest, shall I say? Ay, by my life I did, and never did desire to see thee more. Therefore, be of hope, of question, of doubt, be certain, nothing truer, tis no jest, but I do hate thee. Love, Helena. <laughs> oh, me, you juggler, you canker blossom, you thief of love. What have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from me? Why not? Hey, have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness? What? Will you tear impatient answers from my gentle tongue? Fie, you counterfeit, you puppet, you puppet? Why so? Ah, that way goes the game. Now I had perceived she had made a compare between our statures. And with her personage, her tall personage, her height forsooth, she had prevailed with him. And are you grown so high in his esteem, because I am so dwarfish and so low? How low am I, thou painted maple? Speak, how low am I? I am not yet so low, but that my nails can reach us on thy eyes! I pray that the lovely gentleman that I not hurt me. I was never cursed. I have no gift at all, sure this. I'm a right babe for my cowardice. Let her not strike me. You may perhaps think she's something lower than myself, that I can not Oh, my heart again! And Hermia, do not be so bitter with me. I reward and love you, Hermia. Did I repeat her counsels, never wronged you. Say that, in love unto Demetrius, I told them of yourself into this world. Ah! And now, so you will let me cry and go? To Athens will I bear my folly back and follow you no further, let me go. You see how fond and simple I am. I think it you 
God, who is it that hinders you? A foolish heart that I leave here behind. But with Lysander. With Demetrius. Oh, not oh. afraid. She shall not harm thee, Helena. No, sir, though you take her part. Oh, when she's angry, she is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school. And though she be but little, she is fierce. Little again, and nothing but low and little. Why do you suffer her to flaw me like this? Let me come to her. Get you gone, you dwarf. You <coughs> minimus or hindering hot dress maid. You beast. You acorn. <laughs> now, follow if thou darest. To try who's right, of thine or mine, is most in Helena. Follow? Nay, I'll be by thy side, cheek by jowl. You, mistress of all this coil, is wrong of you. Nay, not you go back. I will not trust you, I, nor longer stay in your cursed company. Your hands than mine are quicker for a fray. My legs are longer, though, to run away. <laughs> I'm amazed and know not what to say. <laughs> this is thy negligence. Still thou mistakes, or else commit'st thy knaveries willingly. Believe me, King of Shadows, I mistook, but I'm glad I did a sort, cause this there jangling, I esteem a sport. Thou seest these lovers seek a place to fight. Hi, therefore, Robin, overcast the night, and lead these testy rivals so astray, that one come not within another's way. Then crush this herb into Lysander's eye. This liquor hath this virtuous property. When they next wake, all this derision shall seem a dream and fruitless vision. Whilst I in this affair do thee employ all to my queen, and beg her Indian boy. And then I will her charmed eye release from monster's view, and all things shall be peace. My fairy king, this must be done with haste, for the night swift dragons cut the clouds full fast. We may affect this business yet ere day. 